Now that we're inside Docker, um, let's try to run an example from TensorFlow. So, um, TensorFlow, like how to retrain the model. That is uh, how to retrain Inception's final layer uh, for new categories. So, this is also emphasized in the blog, uh, Pete Warden's blog, TensorFlow for points. So basically we are going to retrain the uh, final layer of the inception network for in this example category of flowers. So let's try. First let's check whether we could open the directory for flowers so here we have five categories of flowers and uh, we could check maybe one directory just to make sure that we can access these directories so we can see there are J jpeg images um, under these directories so we could now go to tensorflow and try to build the image retraining so uh, basal build examples image retrain and just call it retrain retrain takes a while to compile okay so um, after that pretty much we have a new file and TensorFlow base of view uh, TensorFlow examples and there you have it theory train so it's now compiled we could proceed to training so the training is I performed it earlier image retraining So there you have the retraining um, involving these directories. So let's go to TensorFlow and 
paste it basically it's calling the command for retrain and just setting the the directories for bottleneck models output graph and labels and also the image directory so this should be modified in cases like you have a different data set or you want to work in a different directory so let's try it So these bottlenecks, by the way, are defined in the examples. Um, the bottlenecks, these are, um, depending on the speed of your machine, the first phase analyzes all the images on disk and calculates the bottlenecks values for each of them. Bottleneck is an informal term we often use for the layer just before the final output layer. That that actually does the classification. So while that is training, you could read more on the examples. Um, because every image is reused multiple times during training and calculating each bottleneck takes a significant amount of time. It speeds things up to cache these bottlenecks values on disk so they don't have to be repeated, repeatedly recalculated. By default, they are stored in a temporary bottleneck directory and if you rerun the script they'll be reused so you don't have to wait again so training and then afterwards using the retrained model and then training on your own categories so if we manage to successfully train this Inception network, or the, at least the final layer. Um, that means we could simply change the, the image directory, and then the script should train just like it did with the flowers. So just put a bunch of directories with category and image images within those directories so in practice it may take some work to get the accuracy one so creating a set of training images uh, somehow there's a few problems like the tap recognition problem learning more from the background instead of the object We have also distortions, hyperparameters, and all of those interesting stuff.
So this problem is known for us overfeeding and to avoid we keep some data out of the training process so that the model can memorize them. We then use these images as check to make sure that overfeeding isn't occurring since if we see good accuracy on them it's a good sign the network isn't overfeeding. So the usual split is 80% of the images in the main training set. I kept 10% aside to run as validation frequently during training and then have a final 10% that are used less often as a testing set to predict the real world performance of the classifier. Okay, after a few minutes, the training was completed. And we get a final test accuracy of about 91%. So let's now try to build the image leveler from the examples so base uh, build tensor for examples label image let's just call it label image After this, let's try to classify one image and see what do we get. So we have now the executable. Uh, we could start to classify. So I have I have set the actual command for this. So it will call the label image that we have just compiled earlier, and it refers to the graph at the FTP data directory called retrain graph that PV and labels output layer the final result and we picked one image from the DC category so let's check if it will be able to correctly classify a DC So it's Daisy 99%. So it works.